Hey guys, Pringle Gaming here, and today I'm going to be giving you a Millwall analysis video. Now, today's Millwall analysis video is obviously Millwall versus Coventry. It's a pretty, pretty interesting game. I'm not going to lie, frustrated that we only got the point against Coventry, but last season they did have a good season, so you can kind of look at it as just doing a little bit worse than what they were last season. Well, not really a little bit, but a lot more worse. At points in that game, we really didn't look like we had striking options because none of the strikers really could do anything. Fred. He's a good player, but he just doesn't know how to read the game 100% yet. And O'Brien was woeful despite getting the goal. And Morrison, he was always dragged out onto the wings, so he couldn't really do much when he was on the wing. You can't score very often from there. He did give it a go, though. So let's actually talk about what happened in this match. So the first major chance of the game happened as Joe Martin flicked the ball in from the left side of the pitch. That then drifted into the area and onto the head of David Worrell, but the ball just went over the bar. Very, very unlucky there. He is definitely impressing me, David Worrell, at the moment in a Millwall shirt. Then Jordan Archer was forced into making a save as Ruben Lameresh found Vladimir Gadshev in a bit of space. He then dribbled a little bit before shooting just outside the box at the Millwall number one. But Archer made the save, but he had to make the save the second time of asking. Then a player who Millwall didn't want to score, Marvin Sordell score yes he did manage to score i don't really want to hear too much about it it's frustrating everyone was booing him and then he put it into the back of the net well he definitely responded to his critics by scoring that goal and what happened was gal bergamana played the ball to him he then controlled it really nicely and turned and knocked ben thompson away from the ball and had a shot just outside the box very very good goal archer was well and truly beaten and if he can perform more like that, then, well, I don't know what would happen to him. He definitely played really well in this match. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Millwall have conceded three goals from outside the box at home this season. And to be honest, if you're conceding that amount of goals, then maybe we should be reading this more often and closing the players down more quicker. I know that the players look at all the video evidence and things to see what they're, what's actually going wrong, what's going right, see what they have to do. And well, that's quite upsetting if we have conceded that many from outside the box, we just need to work on it. We're getting better at it, but they're still going into the back of the net. Now into the second half, and there was a few things that happened here. Marvin Sordell almost got another goal as Kyle Reid played the ball along the floor and into the box. He then controlled the ball, Sordell did, and he had the shot, but it was deflected off of Tony Craig. Very, very unlucky. Could have almost got his second there. And Sordell was definitely playing in a very, very good way in this match. Then we got our goal as Ben Thompson started an attack for Mill after he won the ball back. He then played it out wide to Steve Morrison. A bit of luck for Morrison to actually get on the end of the ball, but he crossed it in and Aiden O'Brien tucked it into the back of the net to give us the 1-1 one, one, and obviously the equaliser. Mill deserved a goal and we maybe deserved to win the game, but the draw is better than nothing. And well, O'Brien, he played woeful, I'm not going to lie. Definitely gave him a bit, of, a bit of redemption, but it's not really his best time at the moment. I mean, at the start of the season, he played fantastic. He was scoring loads of goals and now he's kind of just stopped scoring. We are missing Lee Gregory. Maybe someone else could do the job like Phil Pot or Smith, but who knows? We just have to see how it goes. But then Steve Morrison almost got that winner for us as the ball came in from a corner from Ferguson and it ended up on his head, but it was straight up Reese Charles Cook. Very unlucky there, but he needed to try a lot better. And the final chance in this game actually came from a Coventry player in Jody Jones. His amazing free kick was saved by Jordan Archer. And honestly, the distance it was out, it was a very, very good free kick. And Archer almost didn't get to it. So I'm glad he did because that would have been really frustrating. But Jody Jones looked really impressive in that game. Now, for the key players, with Millwall, I'm going to have to go with Ben Thompson. He hasn't been at his best so far this season, really. I think he played a lot better last season than this season. But he's definitely slowly but surely getting back to where he was. And I think the break really helped him as he was definitely... A lot better in this game and he was involved in that goal that obviously got us to equalizer the rest was definitely needed and now we can go back to dominating the midfield just take every game as it comes and eventually he will get back to his best maybe even better now for Coventry Marvin Sordell would have been the key player he got their goal and almost got another one he was very very good in the game and 
I've got to say he was unlucky at some points because he played fantastic and it may just be that Millwall fans get his back up, but he still proved to be a very, very good player. And if he plays like this, he's going to become a fan's favourite at Coventry very quickly and could, dare I say, even become one of the top goal scorers in the league. If he wants to start performing like that, that was a sensational goal. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this Millwall analysis video. But until the next one, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, I'll see you guys in the next Millwall analysis video. Goodbye.